In this video, we will see how to use NextAuth with credentials provider in Next.js. Let's start by creating a new project. This is the official documentation of Nextop. We will follow this documentation. Now, let's install Nextop. We have to create a file named triple.nextauth.js in path pages slash api slash auth. We can copy example code from the documentation. Since we are going to use credentials provider, we can remove GitHub provider from the example code. We have to wrap the root of our app with session provider. We have to configure a few environment variables. Create a .env file if you don't have it already. Nextauth underscore URL should be your application's base URL.
Next auth underscore secret is used to hash tokens, sign or encrypt cookies, and generate cryptographic keys. You can generate a secure random string from anywhere. I prefer LastPass password generator. Let's configure credentials provider now. We can copy example code from the documentation. We will use custom login page so we don't need to define credentials option. In authorize function, we have to perform database operation to validate credentials and return the user. For sake of simplicity, I will return a static user without performing database operation. Pages option is used to define custom routes for things like sign in, sign out, etc. In this case, sign in page route will be base URL slash login. We forgot to create login page. Let's do it now. Perfect. Our login page is now working. Let me fast forward its design path. Our login page is ready. Let's handle authentication now. Sign-in function is available inside nextauth react. It handles everything related to user authentication behind the scenes for you. You have to just pass the authentication provider's name and credentials.
you get this response when you submit invalid credentials? Let's show error message in the UI. We can now see the error message in the UI. Users may not be able to understand this error, so we have to make it simple for them. It looks user friendly now. That's enough to handle invalid credentials. Let's handle valid credentials now.
you get this response on successful authentication. We will redirect user to home page after successful authentication. User is now logged in. That's it for the authentication part. Now let's understand how to access logged in user details. For front end, we have used session hook which can provide us logged in users details. For back end, we have unstable underscore get server session which can provide us logged in users details. According to the documentation, unstable underscore get server session may be removed or changed in the future. Let's try use session first. Setting required to true will automatically redirect users to the login page if they are not logged in. Just like sign in, sign out is also available inside next talk. Did you see that flicker? This happens because there is a slight delay in redirecting an unauthorized user to the login page. To solve this problem, you have two options. The first option is to render a blank fragment when the session is empty. The other option is to use unstable underscore get server session in get server side props and manually redirect the user to the login page when session is empty. Let's try the first option. Problem fixed with option 1. Now, let's try the other option.
with option 2 home page doesn't even render user is directly redirected to the login page you can see the status code 